for your new four minutes. The 19th of March, covering the Grand Trine, press 1. For a moon sign reading, welcome to the week that takes you as a Sagittarian through to the 19th of March, 2012. You're not the first person I've said this to this week. Probably won't be the last, but I do have to say it to you because, well, because you need to know something about my position as I look at the astrological situation and apply it to what I understand of your zodiac sign. It's tricky for me. I'm very good at difficult scenarios. When people are stressed or having a tough time, I can usually find something constructive to say. I've made a bit of a lifelong career of it. But what about when the going is good, when the sun is shining, when there's something so positive happening in the sky? Well then, there's always a risk that an astrologer will say too much, will wax too lyrical, will get too enthusiastic, and that the person who's listening will go, oh, well, he's told me it's going to be a great week, so I'll just put my feet up and relax. It's all going to go just fine, and nothing I do can do can make it go wrong, and you know what? Nothing you can do can make it go wrong. But that doesn't mean that something isn't kind of wrong as it currently is, or that something hasn't been going wrong for a while, or that it doesn't need fixing, and that, well, one of the things, particularly as you're a Sagittarian, is I need to take into account, as do you, the possibility that the good fortune which you are about to be blessed with is more likely to lift you away at the very last moment from a great hole that you were about to fall into, or to lift you out of a hole that you've already fallen into, than to elevate you to the top of the highest mountain. It may just be that you get saved by the bell. And that's no bad thing, particularly if you recognize just what a close encounter you had and what a near miss it was and how well taken care of you have been to be saved from that. But sometimes we don't even see when we're digging ourselves a hole. 